Hey everybody, welcome back to Montreal Connected. Now, fans of the beautiful game consider it to be art in motion, and nowhere is that more true than at Station 16 Gallery, where Ricardo Cavolo's new exhibit is turning heads. The exhibit wrapped up this week, but our George Athens got us this glimpse. Check it out. Magnificent. It's called The Beautiful Game, and that's been the ultimate inspiration for Spanish artist Ricardo Cavolo. I'm a big, big soccer fan, so in fact, in my studio when I'm painting, usually I'm watching some football, some soccer matches, so for me it's like the perfect uh, mix. It's mixing my, my work, my passion. My first passion is art, but the second one, or maybe the first at the same time, it's football, soccer. But Cavolo's art goes well beyond the pitch to a collection of bold and colorful personal portraits of his favorite players. The idea was uh, to make a selection of uh, football players. There are some coaches and a referee as well, and, uh, but it wasn't about a top list of best football players in history. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to choose the, the ones I would. If I had a gang, they would be my people, if it makes sense. All these original pieces were painted by Cavolo in Montreal, prior to his exhibit at Station 16 on St. Lawrence Street. But it's been pretty intense. Uh, it's uh, 12 portraits and uh, three soccer balls painted as well in 11 days. It's been, I mean, I love this thing. I, I, I've been enjoying it, but it's been pretty intense. Even for me, it's the first time that I could develop a project like this, using my work, painting, colors, animals, stories, speaking about football. It's, uh, it's something, something new. I'm one of the best projects. Cavolo was first introduced to painting as a child by his father, who was both a painter and his teacher. The vivid colors Ricardo used as a child are still very much a part of his art and are symbolized by the tattoos on his hands. I use fire, uh, as you can see in my work as well. Fire to me is like the positive energy. It's uh, warm, it's uh, light. It's not uh, that the, the, the negative view of fire destroying. In my case, it's positive view. My hands are my tools, I'm painting, so I need my hands. So uh, flaming hands means like they're uh, working, they're warm, they're doing things as best as I can. It's, it's like a talisman. Paul Debaye is the owner of the Burgundy Lion Pub in Montreal, and he helped put this exhibit together with Station 16. The Burgundy Lion and myself were huge football fans, soccer fans, and one of the things that we see and we feel is that football, soccer culture is more than just watching 90 minutes on TV. It's not just about the game and the team. There's elements, there's art, there's fashion, there's music, there's the surrounding pieces. The Burgundy Lion originally commissioned Cavolo to come up with some branded clothing and a scarf for the pub, but that soon expanded to the art exhibit. But seeing Ricardo's art kind of live and seeing the, the story within each face, right? I mean, people reference obviously the, a tattoo culture to it, but as Ricardo mentioned, it's the story of the player inside the piece. Right, so it's it's a whole it's a whole kind of adventure and and, and everything that resembles and, and connects that player to the history of the game. 